Welcome back. It's Dr. Rich. So I was watching an early episode of The Walking Dead and a potentially sensitive medical topic, that of abortion, came up. That wasn't what concerned me. What concerned me was the topic of emergency contraception and abortion and how many patients don't know what the difference between those things are. So we're going to watch Lori Glenn and Rick duke it out, and then we'll talk about uh, what the purpose, function, use, and misuse of emergency contraception. Morning after pill, prenatal vitamins. So she's taking a bunch of morning after pills, and then uh, I wouldn't imagine within seconds she becomes nauseous. This is probably a regret phenomena and inducing vomiting here. Spoiler alert, taking a morning after pill uh, will in no way affect an established pregnancy. So Rick finds the morning after pill and puts two and two together. And now for the confrontation. Something you need to tell me? We can't leave, I'm pregnant. Are you? I throw them up. So what do we learn? We learned that most people don't know what a morning after pill is. So the morning after pill essentially is just progesterone, 11 adrestrol, okay? It is specifically formulated as one pill, FDA approved, to be taken within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse. As long as it's taken within that time frame, it will inhibit or has a 80 some odd percent chance of inhibiting ovulation. What does that mean? That means that every month in the first half of the cycle, the woman will start to produce an egg. In the middle of the cycle, that egg will ovulate or it will leave the ovary, enter the fallopian tube, um, if sex has occurred, the sperm will then fertilize the egg and the egg will go in and plant inside the uterus. So emergency contraception only works to prevent the egg from ever coming out of the ovary to begin with. It does not cause abortions in any circumstances. It doesn't inhibit fertilization. It doesn't inhibit implantation. So if ovulation's already occurred, it, it just won't help as the morning after pill. It just won't help prevent the the pregnancy that's already occurred so the only mechanism of action is to prevent ovulation from happening now long before there was a plan b or a prepackaged morning after pill there was the ability to take any combination birth control pill if you add up a number of pills we'll call it four pills that total 100 micrograms of estrogen and 0.5 milligrams of progesterone and you take that and then you repeat that dose 24 hours later, that is also highly effective at inhibiting ovulation, does not cause an abortion, does not affect a pregnancy that's already established. Also, IUDs, copper IUDs and progesterone IUDs can also be used as emergency contraception, meaning that if you've had unprotected sex and you place an IUD within that 72 hour time frame, it can inhibit ovulation. It will also prevent implantation of a fertilized egg, but doesn't disrupt a fertilized egg that's already been established. Now, if there was a circumstance where she wanted to have an abortion after already having fertilization, implantation, and the gestation of the pregnancy begin to grow, which looks like to be in the first trimester, the very beginning part of the pregnancy. In the zombie apocalypse, they would look for a medicine called misoprostol, which causes uterine contractions. It can force an established pregnancy to uh, be disrupted and you can pass the pregnancy. Again, mifepristone is not available in the United States. That's another medication that's used for that. And of course, surgical abortion, which I think Herschel's a veterinarian, uh, but I don't know if he'd be able to, to perform that. Uh, thank God they didn't wade into those waters, but those are the options for terminating an established pregnancy, which none of those things were entertained in this episode. They used the wrong medicine 
to try to disrupt an established pregnancy because of emergency contraception doesn't do that. If you get caught in a zombie apocalypse, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more life-saving information.